Vic is a distant memory, and now we're on to Berlin. Yeah, that's the only thing that have to be in their minds right now, and uh, starting up with good food on this one. Uh, ticks, immediately takes up the jewel. It's going to be Nucky getting her first blood for the team. Didn't feel how long ago that he was pulling out those kills for Heretics, but he's moved on over. Keeping that pressure up on A and actually gets the double kill. It's full map control at this point. And G2 are doing this cleanly. It's almost like watching Hall of Globetrotters this early on in a tournament, really. And the Menace Phantom are going to be struggling with this as Nucky gets a third and gets taken down. Yeah, uh, it looks like it was going to be a flawless, but Stew didn't have the same feeling as us. But the round is pretty much free to break themselves in. The wall does go up and the decay is going to start to chip away at Evolver. He has a bit more time, he's put some damage into Sty. And they're just looking for that kill before they even go for this entry. Lots of utility there to try and stall it. And Kellogg's wants to try and lead the line, sneak his way in. The spraying and praying is there. Nucky is going down in the second. But Kellogg's has slipped his way into the back line. They have worked out roughly where he is. Natsen still loses the duel regardless. This is the kind of player that yes. you definitely want to keep an eye on. And now you start to see why G2 might have wanted him on that roster. Yeah, and those Frenchies were uh, smart enough to delay that plan. The comparison to 2020, yeah. overall in the ignition phase, it's still a team that you have to respect to Kellogg's. Well, it, somebody's just walked past him and they've completely missed him. There yeah. he catches him, but gets traded out anyway. It's two that gets the kill. Oh, but that's already planting the spike. And, uh, he's in this Ooh. Hold on a minute. Oh, that is so unlucky, so unlucky. Yeah, that operator was only going to have a short shelf life for uh, LMF. Stai being able to sneak through, Coldament has got a better angle, might be able to see just the outside. Last player standing. Doesn't even need to, it's a nice flick in a 1v1 and Coldament for a player to kind of go, there's some young sterling talent coming through, I want to support them more. Fanatic's another good example, Doma did it with Durka, he was happy to play second fiddle. Now Kellogg's with the Blade Storm isn't afraid to go in for the fight, knows that Natsun only had a sheriff, so quite happy to go very over eager. Oh, the Mentor knows that he's pulling into two players, still going to try to take the duel, separates them one by one, has to reload, brings out the ghost, and he's just going to try and survive as Nookie's there to help out. Perform and deliver what we expect of them, because obviously, as, as always, I would say, everybody's eyes are RNG too. The second time Mixwell's died in mid. Stai's done a pretty decent job of being able to shut down some of that mid-pressure, but I don't think it's going to face too much onto G2. They have the Resurrect, probably one of the reasons why the Eldred's come in. Hunter's Fury's dedicated as well. Doesn't quite catch onto the tail of Jet, but the third shot and the final one, make sure that she goes down. Mid-control is there. The Resurrect could bring me back in Mixwell. Yeah, it could. He's going around the... He's going yeah. walkabout. Pretty easily. Ooh. Oh, that Hunter's Fury. Can be so hurtful, buddy. It's not gonna hit him. Oh no, that is so unlucky. It's still four before. Oh, okay. He's just too smart he's... for this. <laughs> Natsun wants to be able to get this operator out, but can't even. Only manages the one kill with it. So I feel like this game is gonna be extremely, extremely fast. Map after this in the best of three is fine, so we're more likely to see Oof. some more of Mixwell. Jesus, and... this is beautiful. They're working this nicely. We've gone finding similar success to Kellogg's Nucky. Usually you see him on the raise, but he did pick out a little bit of Reina. I remember that Ninjas in Pajamas game where instead of playing the raise, he played the Reina and absolutely bamboozled any plants that Nip were trying to deal with. Now Natsun has the Blade Storm in hand. He's gonna get peeked out from distance. And still loses that chill against Nucky. 8-0. Silver. And there's, there's no way there's a Hunter's Fury from him that doesn't get at least one kill. Might not even be necessary with how well this firepower of G2 is starting to show up. Yeah. It is more just a stretching of the legs for this team. Get the officials in, feel confident, oh. take the duels. Really, like, Nucky was a great entry when it comes to taking all that space with the race. He's doing similar stuff for the Rainer, but just winning flat-out duels. Yeah. And Stai, the success in mid has continued, but he's still in a 3 versus 4 overall. Yeah, like, I don't think uh, the the setup from uh, the defenders is bad. They start every round mostly with the same thing, but it but it's working. The first 
15 seconds, then is what you say, right? It's uh, just the duels that they cannot win. And this this is not just any random guy that you found in ranked. This is G2. This is new G2. And it makes sense. LMF need to be a little bit more patient and deliberate with these attacks because they just don't know where G2 are playing from this position. Look how forward facing they are. Oh, God. Oh, if, if Pity Flying would have come earlier, this, this would have been a whole different deal. Claim this. Look, he actually trying to piss himself. Gets that information. Takes onto one, peeks onto the other. It's a one versus oh. one up against Arty. And that first round does eventually come in. Probably their favorite. I mean, they're doing they're doing much of both. I don't think they're they're thinking too much. They're just they're just going. You know, I don't think with the with this score you have to think too much to get the rounds on your side. Speaking is still the same in Spanish and it seems to have made its way across from phase plan to well, G2 here, but there's a reform about it. The triple kill comes in, the 4k would have been nice, but Natsun manages to flick on with the operator before Mixwell claims him. Now RT last alive again, clutching out the last round. He's at least able to get one of the four surviving members left, but there's not oh much time. He's put under super pressure and called the mid grab. But Mixwell's ready to try and pinch on them too. Yeah, makes one call them into taking a lot of info on this B long and Keller just has the whole side. Pressure's gonna keep coming and uh, Nuke is just waiting. Maybe he wins. Mixwell trying to take more fights. You can take him off the duelist, but you can't take the duelist out of him. He's still going in for the fights. Your Twitch shot, uh, mm -hmm. Kakuka, because it's in emote mode. Yay or nay, <laughs> G2's gonna qualify out of this bracket. Yay or nay, I think is a good question to pose. Oh, yeah. Because they look. I mean. Bit of a lack of time, preparation. I think it will be enough. Oh, I think Nuki wants the title. Oh. Spike. They're really clambering to try and get these kills. Kellogg's not afraid to try and get through Mixwell Snake Bite to take the fight and a triple kill to end it. I called it from Team Heretic's days. Could be on the Sage. I don't think it's uh, it's too bad. Look at this positioning. Kellogg's is just moving around B. Instantly murdered down. That's it. Gets a couple. Now there's a bit of space for the Menace Phantom to make their way in onto B. They don't really have hookah controllers. That's where Nucky is going to be playing. Mixwell's going to try and meet him to pinch around. And Coldementer will probably yeah, have still a good it. amount of utility to try and punish. Yeah, at least he has. has a s Sorry. Just as the one smoke. Yeah, let's see how he gets with the dog. Nucky gets one of them, gets the Soba, but oh! Okay, this is uh, looking good. Beams, get them out exactly. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is just the practice. Exactly. It's literally just more of a co-stream at this point yeah. because really there's not there's no drama, there's no tension. It's G2 R1 nil down. And they haven't fought up here. They're gonna do their best to try and hold it. Vova knows Ooh. people coming for the teleporter and called them into Kellogg's ready and waiting there. Vova does think for the headshot onto Arty, but can't win the duel up against the better specter. The plant comes in again. Yeah, and the retake is gonna be on 4B3. I see them taking the elbow, taking backside. I don't really have the info. They heard the TP, right? At least two of them. I imagine, I imagine so, but they're under a lot of pressure from various different places. The man advantage is there for G2, but the gun advantage still stays with the attacking team of LMF. Natsun takes out Nookies, he's trying to peek around, and another duel happens towards the back of the tin can. Arty peeks nicely, Coldementer is there. Unfortunately, Pity Flan is playing and ideas from G2, just really burning down the clock of all the headshots, but he's going to keep himself alive. Natsun tries to peek into it to punish, but it's not quite going to be there. Ati's the only one that was able to get that kill. The spike with eight seconds left to plant it isn't looking likely as Avova's going to watch this doorway. And the slow glacier. Now, if they saw him throw that slow up, they might know that he's in the tin can. The Hunter's Fury is actually going to come through from the attacking side, forces Nucky out from that position. He's still able to get a kill, which is surprising, and he's going to try and double it up. Natsun is there. He's actually been pretty decent overall on his LMF roster, but G2 have just been better. Five just bit you straight away from Mixwell. Still feels weird to say that, but it's also quite nice. Kellogg's constantly trying to push. He's not afraid at all, but there's three players waiting for him this time. The rest of his team have died in the spot. Oh, that's a bit of a wonky one. Kellogg's could at least get a kill through the panic of the spray. Might have wanted to hold the gunfight to see if he could get more information and let them go by. Trigger discipline could be Trigger something discipline. to, to yeah. look at, yeah, but 
It's still a 2 versus 4. G2 have always been pretty decent at these. But that was a while ago. Let's see what they can do now. In this 2v3 situation, the spike has been planted. But what doesn't get blinded about that paranoia. Let's see how he picks. Oh, Stai. Move question, I oh. suppose, we're asking. Oh, wait, I understand. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like, if you if you remove and replace every part of a ship, it's, it's still the same ship. Is that what you mean? That's, that's yeah. And it, okay. it, was, men it was mentioned in Disney's uh, like, in division. I'm not, well, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but... It came, it came up in a conversation, and it's a pretty pretty apt description of this G2 team, I think. Yeah, it's good. And let's see this 3v3. We've seen a lot of portal, uh, portals, a lot of flashes, but it, it's going to end up with the 3v2. Pretty separated on the map. Maybe it's the time to get together. If they get some info, maybe like it's in a rough position here. It's probably going to hear them soon if, if he hasn't already. I think Nucky could still do some damage here. It's not going to be an angle yeah. that they expected. If there's no pressure coming in from B long, really it's not been dropped. The teleport might take their attention away. There's 20 seconds spike still down. left to plant the spike. And at this point, it might just be for Coldementor and Nucky to just stall. Make sure that that spike doesn't have the room yeah. to get planted. They find the information of where the jet is. The Omen needs to make his way through. And Evolver has actually changed up his position. Uh, Nucky even has changed up his position quite a lot. The spike is going to go down uncontested. Coldementor wins the duel, and now it's just up to Stai, who's hidden behind this metal box. That's one duel won, and now he needs to find Nucky. Can't quite do it. And Nucky in that position clutches out. I think it's also because probably um, Ascent was their signature map. Oh no. Oh. It's so I mean, unlikely. We, and maybe they don't want to show it this early because they don't think they need it. But That's we'll true. I like the fact that we gave Kellogg's black for trigger discipline and Mixwell had a bit but not enough. Now Nucky, there's a lockdown that's going to push him off this angle. He wins one duel and is just going to give up all of this space to see if LMF can take it. Bit yeah. of a nice wraparound for Evolva. They're able to get through because the Killjoy wasn't close oh, enough God. actually to the alarm bot, but just shuffled, shuffled there just in time for it to get activated. Aldron follows on two. I call them into Nucky, gonna try and ease it through. They go through the turret, they just absolutely leave it. It gets disabled, the res comes in, and now Pixie Plan in the middle of this Viper's pit, last alive with a stinger. And another round where you kind of think G2 have. It's the best part of it, is just, you know, seeing big orgs like G2 play up against teams that are called like Kiki Poo and all that kind of stuff. But this team, LMF, is. Finding some nice success into B long. He is there, still trying to stall, but the teleport is used. It's going to be an A hit. Mixwell is still over there. I need to sort of wait against him and call them into. It's a scrappy fight, but he wins it. He's down to 12 HP. Going to try and push and pins behind, but Hildra is going to keep watching. Mixwell now knows people are coming in. The Viper's nice is a nice one. That's going to yeah. shut it down. And he needed to make to time, and he definitely did. Natsun, because he's already pretty low health, is now down to just one HP. Now they just need to find exactly where this Killjoy is. They run nice. through for all of this utility position. that's coming in. Stai's actually oh. going to stick from the shadows and almost catches off Mixwell, but Kellogg's just get the operator kill. Actually gets a second before Pitty Plan to trade out the teammate. He doubles up to make it two. And now Mixwell, as the spike is going down, tries to go for a wider peak to catch the weak. Well, the, just the. The player that could potentially be caught out whilst planting, but the teammate was there to protect. Enemy remaining. And that's nice, okay. in a, yeah, now Nucky has a 1 versus 2 to play. He wants to kill the Nan Swarm, does so. One is forced out. Yes, he that's, is, a, that's a really wide peak, though. It's dangerous, though, up against Nucky. Carbon slips in, but. Just this time. I mean, frankly, with the amount of times the G2 have pushed down mid, it's yeah. certainly not a bad idea to just put a LMF. Kellogg's with the operator with the blade storm is gonna try and push in all on his lonesome. Mixwell still tries to peek, but Pitifline is there ready and waiting, takes him out. Kellogg's is still there, gonna be watching this angle. Tries to dash out. That's a nice shot with the blade storm. He's fully tagged up, he's still trying to go for more information, and Natson misses with the operator, still under that pressure. Just gonna try and go in with the sheriff now. It's a triple kill for him. You want around the clip and send around to see who is G2 Kellogg? Well, there's a good one at least. He wanted some highlights and then it looks like, oh my god! What a 
Round. I wonder. I don't know how old he is. I think he's like 17, maybe or 18. 18. I think it's 18. Very young. Yeah, very. He's about young. to push in and open up this site. The aim goes a bit out the window, so it's just spamming left click to see what he can grab. And Stein, Stein nicely down, done to sort of please. teleport through to find a gap. Gets one before Evolver trades him out. Now Cold Dementor with the Guiding Light. See if he can clear the site with that utility. It's pretty much open for business. The Snake Bite not quite catching on to Evolver as he's trying to plant the spike. But still, a 3 versus 4 for LMF, it's still winnable. Yeah, still winnable with the spikes planted. Oh. Nice trigger discipline. This was the right call, it was the right call. And the round's gonna be pretty much finished. You were talking about the Jesse on uh, Iceland. We're talking about a break for us, but it's definitely a break for them. All of these changes are falling yeah, into we've place. We've had a whole new meta come and go, yeah. it feels, with Astra. I haven't seen her play so far in these games. And actually, this has turned out to be an exceptional run for LMF. They were just hunkered down, they wait for this A execute, and they won every little jewel that they needed to. Mixwell is going to be the last alive. Running the snake bites is going to scare away Pity Plan. See if he can sort of clutch this out. A one versus three, he has a guardian, he's under a lot of pressure. There's 40 seconds to plant that spike. Be a nice way to remind everybody what he can do, but I think it might still be a bit of a an overstep. But smoke gone. His sightline onto Sty is a bit better, but not all that much. Now the toxic screen coming in, the paranoia again going to delay him. That's all LMF really need to do. They know that this player can be scary. Not really giving him the time to go for the jewels because he'll just do stuff like that. That hurts, but when you're under this much threat from five different players, you kind of have to give up those open positions. Mixwell does get the kill in. And this Viper's Pit's going to go down to protect Coldementor planting the spike. I wonder how close he is for having his ultimate. Doesn't have it from putting the spike down. And that sends in a nice spot. Oh, two away only. It's because the... the Literally divided the map on two sides and everything's gonna be coming from the same. This, is this crossing of Viper walls is gonna be everything. Oh, that's so good. He avoids the paranoia. It's just, it's just a perfect position. Oh! I don't think he expected to run yeah. straight into nuts and... Pretty nice. It's a Blade Storm 2. Coming out of Kellox. Oh, nice! Mixwell's utility has been pretty decent, the snake bites have been fine, and Nick Kellogg finds one with the blade storm, and whilst he can't necessarily get the final kill on the planet, it allows Mixwell to try and clean up the plan. At least if he can sneak by, he heard these him. are angles that, that the jet is not going to be able to watch. He heard him, he gets, and yeah, he's not he even going to go for him, because he already knows where he is. Oh my god! All his way to CT to support their te his teammates on B side. And it's gonna be huge. Gold down the penguin. Oh, knife, knife him. Knife. knife him. Knife. Knife him, you coward. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh. trick discipline. Come on. Who are you? The site isn't completely open yet. It is just gonna be the omen. He's not gonna check the angle because, of course, he'd. <laughs> of course he'd he's like, I know where everybody is. Clearly not. Sty was still an elbow. And a little bit of. Like the end of the tunnel for LMF, but. Could very well be the end of their tenure, at least for challenges one, that's an... Oh, actually, Pitchfline is able to just have them all line up the triple kill! And now Kellogg has to clutch out for his team, he can't do it! For all of that, LMF live to fight enough... You know, it's... I... We came here for the show. You know it's beautiful I... to watch plays like that. And we know I Mixwell is it... a very big fan of Knives. Of knives yeah. People. I can understand just thinking that there was only going to be two players at B, because mostly you have... To get a rest. Eight orbs. I think that's just I crazy. Think when, you, when you watch some of these players, time. though, it doesn't feel like there's much of a time difference. They're able to farm <laughs> these ultimates quite quickly. Now, a full 2 versus 5 for LMF from the Shadows is going to be used to bring the Omen into the teleporter. It's been watched by Nucky. Easy jewel for him to win. 